It might even have been Bruce. Bruce? Who's Bruce? How did he get into this? There once was a spruce with the first name of Bruce who stood tall in the forest for such a long time he had so many friends that his branches would bend with the wrens and the chipmunks the owls and raccoons the robins and blue jays and sometimes baboons would rest in Bruce Bruce in times of a storm you can see why his branches would bend you can see why his branches would bend. One day before dawn, just as Bruce went to yawn, a lumberjack came with a saw in his arms. He cut poor Bruce in pieces and shipped him down river. And there at the mill, they debarked him, debranched him. They turned him to newsprint and napkins and books. They put him in hat boxes, calendars too. You can see how Bruce really felt used. You can see how Bruce really felt used. Bruce was sent to a store where they wrapped him some more so that people would buy him and take him away. After quite a brief using, Bruce found it confusing to be turned into garbage when life was so young. To be torn up and blown in the wind wasn't fun. To be turned into litter made Bruce very bitter. You can see it's not fun being waste. You can see it's not fun being waste. Bruce blew around town with a furious frown till some children decided to gather up paper. They took him away to a depot one day and recycled the newsprint and boxes and letters. They reused him as wallpaper. He felt much better. And now our friend Bruce is quite useful again. You can see why it's better this way. You can see why it's better this way. So if you find some papers that don't have a use, don't forget to remember about our friend Bruce. You can take it to depots all over the town where it's turned into newsprint and boxes and signs and letters and posters with funny designs. This would leave Bruce's brothers to live in the woods. You can see why a spruce would be glad. You can see why a spruce would be glad. Are you trying to tell me that we can save trees by bicycling old paper into new paper? Not bicycling, recycling. Oh, that sounds hard. Much too hard for a moose or a cucumber clubber to do. Oh, moose, it's really easy. Why, there's a kid of the cucumber club who, who recycles paper and bottles and cans in her own neighborhood. Oh. I'm writing to the mayor of the forest to ask him where I can take all this paper to be recycled. But, but you're only writing one letter on each sheet of paper. Uh, it's going to take you, oh gee, I know, 200 sheets of paper just to write one letter to the mayor. Well, when you're a moose, you write big. Uh, why don't you try writing on both sides of the paper? Beaver's right. You can help save trees by not wasting paper. I'll make a note of that. Uh, no, never mind. I'll remind you. Well, well, if you'll excuse his friend and I have to make another call on the other side of the forest. Come on, Fred, let's go. Fred. Oh, Fred. Oh, there he is. Poor Fred, he's so tired. Hey, do you mind if he sleeps here? Well, thank you. Oh, 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 Beaver, am I glad to see you. Oh, Oh, everything is fine, Moose. It's okay. You just had a bad dream. Oh, Beaver, it was awful. It was really awful. You know, the, the trees, they were all gone and... Oh, what? The trees are back. 
Yes, sir, Fraggle, isn't that wonderful? And look, all the paper. You see this paper? I'm never, ever going to waste paper again. And, oh, trees, I love you. And birds, I love you, too. And birds. Oh, my goodness, I forgot. Forgot? Forgot what? Fred, I lost him. He disappeared. Oh, I mean, boy. he wasn't there, but he, he went. And I couldn't oh. see him because he was here. And Fred! 